Hello, good morning everybody. My name is Anubhav and in this video I'll talk about Cisco Firewall on AWS. I get this question a lot of times where uh, people ask me how to insert firewall in a resilient way where uh, they want to use network load balancer uh, to provide load balancing between multiple firewalls and at the same time there are few load balancers uh, facing towards their application server. Now uh, it is really easy to insert a firewall when you have application load balancer or network load balancer facing towards your application server. Only thing is uh, these load balancers would have FQDN. Now, if you look at this particular architecture here, on the right hand side where we have nlb2.aws, that is a network load balancer that faces towards my application servers. Now, these application servers can be in auto scale or these application servers can be static servers uh, deployed in multiple availability zones. Now, on the right hand side, I have firewall one and firewall two. These firewalls are deployed in a uh, different availability zone within a single VPC. And on the left side of my firewall, I have nlb1.aws.com. That's my internet facing NLB. So flow is if, if user would like to access these applications, that traffic will come through internet gateway towards my network load balancer, which is my public facing network load balancer, nlb1.aws.com. Once traffic is received on that load balancer, uh, it is forwarded to one of the firewalls available in the backend pool. Now, the moment I receive that packet on the firewall, what I will do is I will go ahead and change source to my inside interface and my destination to static IP address of NLP. This is a new feature. Earlier, they used to give us only FQDN and you had to enable FQDN based napping on, on your device. But now with new functionality, what you can do is you can use a static IP address per availability zone. So if you if you look at this uh, diagram again, I have two static IP addresses, one for each uh, availability zone. So 10, 0, 200 uh, is my static IP for AZ1 and 10, 0, 500 is another static IP, of, but that static IP address is in AZ2. So if traffic is received on firewall one, I will change my destination to 10.0.200. And if traffic is received on firewall two, I will change my destination to 10.0.500. That way I can forward any inbound traffic to nlb2.aws.com and that NLP will send traffic to the application server. Since I'm doing source NAT, this application server will respond back to the firewall from where initial packet was seen. So pretty simple architecture. You can place firewalls, use the new feature on an LB, assign static IP addresses, and then you are good to go. Uh, in this slide, I have given you complete uh, configuration that is required on your NLP. Uh, you just need to um, use static IP addresses like here. I've specified that my NLB is going to load balance traffic between two AZs, two A and two B. Another thing is I've also selected my static IP address here itself. So if you go ahead and do this, uh, your IP on the NLB will never change. So your firewall configuration will not have to adjust with FQDN. So um, with this architecture, uh, let me go back to the previous slide again. With this architecture, you have a scalable design where you have multiple firewalls per availability zone. Uh, you, can, you can definitely use NLB on the internet side and another NLB facing towards your application server and flow is going to be uh, through the firewall, but instead of uh, sending 
traffic to FQDN based IP, which can change any time. And you would have to do some dirty things like um, FQDN based NAT. You need to run TTL to find out how exactly that IP address is changing or when exactly that IP address is changing. Rather than doing that, you can simply go ahead and assign static IP addresses per availability zone and use that static IP address in your destination NAT config. That way, you can access your application servers directly from outside. Um, uh, that's it for this particular video and uh, here is the config that you need on your NLP side. Uh, just um, one static IP address per availability zone and you are good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.